Community Facilitator for SPICE, the Sandringham Project and Community Empowerment. I'm here today to talk to you about moth plant. This is one of the biggest pest plants in Auckland and here at SPICE we're getting together with community volunteers to try and remove it from Sandringham. So this is quite a typical presentation for moth plant. It has a very strong climbing habit. You can see this one here has grown from the ground all the way up the pole. So if you're trying to identify this in your own house, look for the wrinkly leaf shape. The leaves are opposite each other. And the telltale sign is when you break it, it has the white milky sap coming out the ends. So we're in this garden today, it's quite overgrown and I've spotted a moth plant seedling. You can see it's through the covers as well. So I'm just gonna try and pull it out by the roots. So I just try and move as much of the growth away as possible and then just slowly pull it out. You can see I've got the roots. So then that plant can just be left to die off there. The easiest way to recognise moth plant is probably to spot the big green pods. These form kind of from the beginning of the year, from about February, March, and by kind of May, June, they start to split and spread the seeds. So we can see the vine here is wrapped around this pole. I've just cleared away some of the other vegetation so I can trace it down to the ground where it comes out. And we can see here is where it comes out of the ground. Once you locate where it's coming out of the ground, we can try and pull it out, see if we can get the roots. Or otherwise we can snip it and just put a little dab of weed killer on. It's not going to come. I can feel when I'm pulling it. It's not going to give way. It's got some concrete and stuff around it. So I'm going to snip it. I'm just going to come in and try and make a horizontal cut. You can see the white milky sap. Confirmation that it's definitely the moth plant that we've got there. So I put a tiny dab of weed killer. has been identified by Auckland Council in its pest management plan. They have this really great brochure which tells you all about it. You can get this online or you can ring them and they will send one out to you. This brochure has handy tips on how to recognise the moth plant pods and the flowers and how to remove them. And of course if you need help you can contact us here at Spice and we'll come round to your house and help you get rid of it too.